were you but, but, but before you leave, so they're not the substances that were being used by the West Coast players were not, in your view, performance enhancing. No. There was a game, your not comeback me, game, no. Ben. The comeback game, I think, blew everybody off uh, the planet. And I think uh, the, the majority view was that you were being assisted chemically. Because you were just you were back playing like Superman after uh, 16, 16 weeks, weeks off, out. Yeah. I've I've never trained harder in my life than the month I spent in rehab. It was the hardest month of actual running that I've ever done, and I I trained and trained twice as hard as I ever have. And and by doing that, I was able to go in. It was a huge game, and there was a lot of scrutiny. And by doing that. I was able to go into that game very relaxed because, if anything, the one thing that probably would have helped me prepare better for that game would be as if I trained less. That would have been the only thing I would have mm. done. And it's just a great way to go into your footy because anything after that's out of my control. What were your thoughts when you got the footy and you were uh, rapturously applauded mm. and welcomed back? It must have given you a, uh, a very warm feeling. Yeah, football, the people in the football industry, you know, particularly at the time, the West Coast supporters, have been amazing in their support. Um, an extension of that has been the way I've been received at Richmond. You know, it is been, the average person on the street that I meet um, has been amazing. And, uh, you know, I'm very grateful for that. Will you go back to West Coast? Will you go back to <coughs> Perth ever? Uh, not in the immediate future, I wouldn't think. I, I'm enjoying my time here at, at per, you know, away from Perth in Melbourne. What but, about, uh, sorry, what about the relapse rumours earlier in the year, the abdominal issue that uh, come a little bit later? What, what was going on in that period? Were those rumours rumors true or not? No, they weren't. You know, I had... Well, the ones about having abdominal pains weren't. Yeah. But, um, you know, I was crook and, and there was nothing um, sinister about my condition. <laughs> what about the relapse over summer? Yeah. No. You came there back was nothing? underprepared? No. It wasn't related to a binge overseas? No. No. That overseas trip you're talking about, Jared, I, I was overseas in Thailand, I think, with my girlfriend and, mm. and her two kids, and for the second week of the two-week holiday, I was with my parents. But, uh, you know, there's a lot... I, I don't sit and, and give uh, and dignify every single yep. rumour... You know, I haven't got the time to do it. Mm. And the problem with my situation is that if you throw anything um, negative my way, it seems to stick. Mm. Yeah. Is, is there an alcohol issue then? No. No. I, you know, I've never been spoken to by the footy club uh, about an alcohol issue. You don't have a problem with in any sense with alcohol? Uh, I'd be naive to say that, you know, I don't have... I, I don't have to be careful with it because it, it sort of it leads to... You know, my idea of a holiday, but I don't have an alcohol problem, no. Benny, your hero and friend Chris Mainwaring died of a drug overdose. Have you ever been in a situation where you've feared that you might do some um, serious damage to yourself? A number of times. Yeah. yeah. And doesn't it lead to a conclusion, well, I need to change the way I'm living? No, it doesn't usually. <laughs> That's the, not, when you're in, not when you're in the midst of uh, addiction. You know, there's very little regard for your own safety. That's the problem with it. And a lot of my drug use becomes quite uh, destructive. Well, I wanna, do you ever feel any guilt about um, the relationship with uh, John Worsfold and Trevor Nisbet? I mean, I've spoken to them about that drug problem at West Coast and they said Benny and the boys came and looked us in the eye and said there was no problem. Is there any guilt about when, that? There was no problem. When are we talking about here? Are we... uh, well, probably, as I understand it, probably over an extended period. Do, would yeah. you have said that he's had you and, and the others in his office and asked about the rumours about drugs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to know, you know, at what specific times, but... Um, well, I guess the bottom line you is... Know, you know, well, you would have known, you know, pretty early. I'm sure the footy club mm. would have known when you'd known. Mm. But do you fear mm. remorse? Yeah, well, you know, they, they haven't got the head in the sands. Benny. No, well, well that, that's their point, though. From the outside looking in, we sort of said, how can they not know? How can they not understand what's going on? Well, you've got to interpret, <laughs> you know, <laughs> your, own, your own ideas about why that is. Um, you know, I, I certainly spent... Um, the vast majority of my career uh, trying to hide the fact that I was reliant on recreational drugs. Mm. No question. Mm. But that didn't diminish, um, you know, the application I had to my footy, the want for the footy club to do well. 
You know, I was a leader of that footy club. It's you know, it's easy to get this idea that I didn't care about my footy. Mm. You know, I, I cared about and worked hard, as hard, if not harder, than anyone else at that footy club. But let's deal with what Mike asked you. Do you feel remorse because of the way you fell out with the Eagles and in particular the relationship you had with Nisbet and Warsfold, who I guess were great supporters? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Because absolutely. I don't think people have heard you say that. and I think Yeah, oh, right. there's no question. You know, yeah. West Coast was a huge part of my life and I've got some amazing times. I was lucky enough to be part of the development of a struggling side into a real powerhouse, achieved some success and, and did it side by side with people like John Worsfolder and Trevor Nisbet. And I still consider them friends of mine. Just